Hello everyone and welcome to episode 20 of the TCC CTC Link vlog. It's hard to believe that we've had uh, 20 episodes already in the video blog. Um, I just have a few things I want to talk about today. Uh, number one, I want to say congratulations to Patrice Bungie. Uh, she was our episode 19 winner and she hosted uh, at Link over in the Math, Science and Engineering building for a couple weeks. Uh, and if you'd like a chance to host Link in your department, we're, we're going to be running out of video blog episodes here pretty soon, but uh, if you want a chance to host them in your area, stay tuned on Monday for uh, the question for ep from episode 20. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is uh, testing, or user acceptance testing uh, particularly. Uh, that's coming up here pretty soon. Um, the 23rd of this month is when we expect to have an orientation session uh, for testers so that they can uh, learn what it means to go through the testing process. And, and in essence, uh, there will be scripts uh, set up uh, for various aspects or business processes in PeopleSoft and folks will run through the scripts and then document any errors or any problems that they run into as they as they run through the script. In some cases it'll be negative testing so they're actually uh, going through a business process in an incorrect way and, and just to determine if they're able to go through the entire business process or if they get the appropriate error messages. Uh, and then as they go through that they'll be documenting um, any issues they run into so that the state team can fix any bugs and uh, fix any issues along the way and, and make sure that we're ready for go live. Um, and this testing process will, like I said, it'll start uh, towards the end of this month, but it'll run through August. And there's uh, around, I think, 2,500 scripts uh, that need to be run in the system, and that equates to around 4,500 hours uh, of, of testing uh, in the system. The state has also hired um, some professional testers to help us in this process, and even some Wave 1 institutions have volunteered to participate in the testing process. So we won't be in this on our own. We'll have some help because uh, there's a lot of stuff to go through. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is um, training. That's coming up here pretty soon. And, uh, and actually, um, probably early or mid-July, we will have what's called a week zero training. And it'll be covering uh, elements in the system that still need to be set up uh, prior to our go live. Uh, so uh, an example is degree audit uh, reporting and uh, the three C's or uh, communications comments and checklists. So those are things that need to be set up in the system. So folks will be trained prior to the main training uh, so that they can work on, on those configurations of those aspects of the system. And then the primary training will begin um, at the end of July and run uh, up to our go live week. So the first three weeks in August. Um, and we're identifying a number of spaces on campus for that training to occur. Uh, be a lot of people involved in the training, um, and uh, and like I said, it'll be uh, um, an extensive process that we run through for four weeks uh, to make sure that uh, everybody's up to speed and, and knows how to use the system and, and are ready for go live. Um, so anyway, that's all I have uh, for today. Uh, stay tuned on Monday for the episode 20 question, and uh, we'll see you next time.